Hey Abidu, let me share here. I did an example configuration here. On this screen here, I have the, I'm monitoring the logs. Uh, I configured it on this folder. And on this one here, I'm just in watching the process and 0 0.5 seconds to see this is running. And on this window here, I'm just in calling the app. Okay. That's a local host and 88 and a hello world application example. First, let me stop the process. It's like when you restart your computer and you stop the process. So you can see that we have no hello world message. Here, we don't have the supervisor running and the logs will be empty. Let me start it again. When I start the process, the process started the application. It's a Node.js application and it started the application and the memory watching. Let me show how I did it. And I have an app dot in here. I, the app example name came from here. The app example memory is from here. It's the same, right? On this application, I'm configured my application on USR local SRC. And this is the command to start. I pass the full command on node, not just NPM, not just node. You need to pass the full command to make sure that it's gonna run. And this one can be relative to this path here, right? And the out start to when I restart my computer and the user, it's very important to inform the user because you don't want your application executing as root, right? And this is the time to wait for the application start. You can take a look of these options here on the documentation on su supervisor documentation. And the event listen here, I'm using the memo too. And I'm watching this app, this name must, must match with this one here. And if this app reach 500 megabytes of memory, I'm gonna kill it. And I'm checking it in second, in tick 660, right? That's the configuration. Let me show you something. The main application is this one here. You can install this one with pip, pip, install this name. Then when we install it, you have this application here, right? You can take a look on the documentation. It's very useful. Let me supervise CTL. I have one minute left. Status. You can stop everything. You can see that it stopped it. You can start everything. And we can kill a PID. For example, let me kill this one here. They got started and they started again. And let me kill this other one here. They get it and start it again. That's the main purpose of supervisor CTL. And I think that's it. One last thing I want to show you is the USR local uh, SRC here, I have app example, it's just a, oops, it's just a app example here, a hello world, and I'm using a local node, I downloaded the node, I'm not using a node from the system, I'm using this one here, and like that, in node, okay, that's all, how I do things using supervisor. I hope this can help you. See ya.